Hey, welcome to Alva's Music. This is Seth here at Seth's Tone Zone. And today I'm bringing you two fairly new, a couple months old, uh, I think they come out, came out at Summer Nam, JHS pedals. Uh, I thought we'd check them out because we got them into the store a little while ago. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a video on them. Today I'm using a Nash 52 Tele spec. It's kind of the a la Keith Richards style. It has a nice um, Imperial humbucker from uh, Lawler in there, as well as the, the traditional single coil plus. I think it's got a little extra mojo that only Nash guitars can get from Lawler, like a special made pickup. It's pretty cool. I like it. In the bridge, typical three-way control, uh, maple everything. It's really nice. An ash body. It is, I, I can never say anything bad about these Nash guitars. Uh, today I'm not going into a V40. <laughs> For once, I am going into a Victory. I thought I'd maybe mess with the uh, little bit of a crunch control in the V30 Countess Mark II. Uh, great high uh, clean headroom amp, and it can do a lot of crazy dirty stuff too. And it is going through a cool red uh victory 212 cap with celestian vintage 30s anyway the pedals i'm doing today is the jhs haunting mids and the jhs kodiak tremolo which is a really cool pedal um i'll start with the haunting mids let me talk about it for a second the haunting mids now um this is for players that want to cut through their mix it's it's really an eq pedal of sorts for your mids so if you really think about a guitar, a guitar is a mid-tone instrument, and I don't know why people are always afraid of mids. Like, all these metal guys want to scoop their mids out and throw a whole bunch of trouble in bass, which is a cool sound. Like, the basis of a Fender amplifier is cutting some of those mids back. It's not... The British thing is to have all those mids. And I love, like, a Fender clean, so maybe I'm guilty of it as well. But this is an awesome tool for shaping your guitar tone you know, maybe you want to cut through on a lead. Maybe you just want a different part to come out more. And you really want to change the character of your... Not so much your amp, but your, just your tone. Um, then the Haunty Mids is for you. Uh, you can control low mids, high mids. You can sweep the frequency. It's really awesome. It has a volume control. Mid control. When you have it 12 o'clock, the mid is not affecting it. It's just... Kind of, you can use it as a boost too, which is cool about the volume. You just want to just throw the mid in the center there, and you got yourself no mids uh, being affected. It's pretty much just giving you what your signal is, but amplified. And the sweep, I believe, in the center is the same way. When you turn it to the left, you're going to be getting um, more of your low mids and then your high mids. Now, this little toggle switch from low to high, I think it's focusing more in on the extreme high frequencies, extreme low frequencies of that mid control. If you've ever looked at a mid control, there's a million frequencies and, and cool controls, and that's kind of what this is. Not a million, but you know, <laughs> there's quite a few different hertz and all that stuff I never could understand. I just, you know, if I used to be kind of scared of EQ pedals, like the old boss one had all these switches, and I would just, you know, set it, whatever, you know. Most of the time I wouldn't use it, but... I, as you become older and wiser, I feel that you kind of accept EQ pedals into the spectrum because they really can help you if you just sit down and mess with it. So that's uh, that one. Let's hear it. Let's talk about it. Here's my clean tone to the V30 Mark II on my neck pickup, the Imperial. Very nice high headroom clean. It tends to be more of a British character, which is cool. Um, I can really enhance it with this pedal. So let me just show you with everything at noon here. It's just more of a booster. I have it on the low toggle. I don't know if that'll really do it. So here's that clean again. Here's with it engaged. definitely boosting and I can it's doing a little something extra too 
Um, I'm not sure what frequency it would be, but maybe that sweep has something to do with it. Let me turn the sweep down. No, sweep is definitely not doing it there. So already just doing that, it's really a good volume boost if you need it. It kind of really enhanced that clean nicely. I like what it did. Um, so, like I said, if we go back here this way, it's going to control more of the low mids. Actually, I think this way is the high mid. Mess with the sweep, it's gonna do... Oh yeah, so as you turn the sweep up, it's kind of eliminating those mids and you can hear more highs and low. are back as I turn the mids up here Woo, it's driving it I kind of brought the mids back here it controls more of the high mid See what that sweep does. It's really a drive pedal almost. I'm probably driving that way too hard <laughs> on the camera thing. It's a lot of lows and highs. Turn it up, it's gonna. Almost completely eliminate lows as well. So for those, you know, I wouldn't use it more in a clean sense. I would probably use it more in like a drive sense. Sorry, my hand gets slippery and <laughs> you gotta pull that toggle out to make it work without the foot switch. So here's the crunch channel. <clears throat> Bridge pickup on this thing uh, of the Mark II. Engage the haunting mids. It's like if you really want to come out in something, I probably wouldn't use that setting, but. Definitely adding a lot. I would probably, that's in the low. Let me mess with the high toggle, see what that does. Without it. Definitely, you can hear those mids coming through. Mess some other controls here. That really blankets it, but it's kind of cool. Anywho, that's like a tweaker's delight. <laughs> tweaker's delight. What a, what a choice of words, Seth. Uh, if you really want to mess around, that's a cool pedal. I'm going to move on now to the JHS Kodiak. It is a photo cell driven tremolo pedal with every feature in a really compact chassis. It's really cool. Over the years, you know, like the, the full tone Super Trem was an awesome tremolo, but it's just like pff, this gigantic thing. Um, no offense to them. They've made a smaller version, I know, too. But uh, it's fun. the compact pedal game is still what everybody wants. Everybody wants compact boards. You can go in and out of gigs. I, I want it that way. So this is the Kodiak with this cool bear. 
a little logo there. I forgot the Honey Mids has this little ghost of Halloween time when we're recording this here. Um, so the Kodiak has is a tremolo with four different waveforms, which are sine wave, a rhythmic tremolo, square wave for really choppy stuff. The sine wave is the more traditional one. Uh, square wave for your really choppy stuff, and a ramp up mode, which is a little more like, yeah, ramping up um, kind of a thing. I had to confirm it with myself by looking at Zach over here, like, ramping up. Um, overall mix control, overall volume, you can use this pedal as well as a boost if you want to turn the speed all the way down in the tremolo or the mix. It has subdivision ratios, uh, quarter note, eighth note, triplet, and sixteenth. So you can get different crazy combinations uh, just by messing with that ratio. It has bypass switch and the ever so handy tap tempo switch, which will really, it's uh, most trims I've seen that are dual like that. You know, they would be like a half speed before stuff like that. They've really come a long way with the tap tempo and it's just nice to have it in this thing. Top jack mounted does have this side jack as a you can use it with an expression pedal to control your trim speed or a external tap tempo which if, you know if you don't like how close these buttons are together and you like your other switch it's a cool thing to have other than that oh there's this little side thing i should probably see what it says no oh, it's the expression and tap switch so when you plug in that uh extra jack right there to an expression or a tap tempo you have the switch to change it um that's pretty much what it has so let's hear it neck pickup let me turn it back to the clean i have it you know on a sine wave so let's hear that kind of have it boosting a little bit you got to find your unity gain actually I'm pretty close just about halfway so what it's doing here in its ratio mode it's on eighth notes you can hear it and well it's kind of a fast thing but if I clicked and if I, sorry, I clicked. If I tapped in quarter notes, it's coming back at you in the eighth note. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's go to quarter to hear that. So here's quarter note. So if I slowed that down, that's just a quarter. But most people I would know, not everybody, set it back in eighth notes. If you want to come at that da, 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 kind of like that, however you're tempoing it in. Da, 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 da. Oh wait. You know, if that's your quarter note, then there's your eight. And it locks right into however you set it. You got triplets. Let's hear what that's like. That's cool for those faster. When you turn the mix all the way up, it's going to be really loud. Less intense. Really more like a boost. You kind of have to have it a little over halfway. You can also control the speed right here. Whoa, that gets insane. It's like, whoa. <laughs> it's own sound, it sounds like a bit crusher. For you experimental people, that might be really cool. Cool, this, uh, everything else is pretty self-explanatory there. I'm gonna go back to the eighth note. 
Here is uh, rhythmic. I can come back a little differently. Yeah, that's cool. See if it changes a lot on the ratio quarter. Whoa, here's a triplet with that. Hey, if you're into that, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it could be useful. You never know. You can kind of create. That's what I like about a lot of new pedals. It really, the creativity has gone up, gone through the roof. Here is a sixteenth. Okay. Here's for your choppy. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. You know, probably everybody knows what I'm gonna do if I can ever get this thing. Yeah. <laughs> gotta do it. Gotta. Your square wave. I'll mess with it some more. You really have to turn that mix up. That's interesting. <laughs> Maybe I don't have it. <laughs> different waves have different sounds. It's more of a thing you hear in the room, I think when you're up close and personal, so come on down and try these. This is ramp up mode. That's better for that. Anywho, I'm just going to keep fiddling, so that's pretty much all the modes of the Kodiak. You can use it also as a boost. Uh, thanks for joining me this week. Uh, I'll be back next week with another video, and that's really it. Subscribe, comment. I've been answering, so be nice. I, no, I appreciate all the comments, whether I agree or not. A lot of times it's useful information that's given, so thanks a lot, and I will see you guys next week. Thank <laughs> you.